freely put up a video. Check this video out, and I'll talk about it afterwards. It's going going crazy in the paleo low carb world. They're just flipping out. How can a sports model physique eat that much carbohydrates every day? Crazy, crazy. Check this out. Hey, free bands. It's really the banana girl here. Welcome to another episode. Today is what I eat Wednesdays. Okay, good morning fruit bats. We've got breakfast here and I have 15 dates pitted in here. It's 15 dates. And I'm gonna have this frozen jackfruit. It's actually not frozen, it's been in the fridge. But this is what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna add this to this. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I have never tried this combination before. So it should be interesting. I think it's gonna be nice. I've got, how much water have I got in there? It's like about 1.6 quart. But let's do it. Let's blend her up. Blend her up in the Fruity. This is Optimum Blender from Fruity. You can find the link in the description below. It's a really awesome, powerful blender. Let's do it. Okay, and here we have the blended product. I'm gonna put it into my big jug. That fit almost perfectly. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's really yum. Oh, that is good. Okay, I'm going to see you next meal. Yeah. Hey, fruit bats. So I am going to film myself eating 500 grams worth of pasta today because there's a lot of people out there who don't believe that I eat as much as I do. And I want to show you that I carve up. I do eat as much as I show you. And yeah, I love to carve up. So this is a 500 gram packet of corn pasta. It's going in. sodium low fat sauce that I made for my pasta. It's just got um, some red onion and some tin tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, zucchini, which is courgette, mushrooms, and that's it. And oh, actually some spinach in there. It's yummy. It's low sodium, low fat. All right, so now I've cooked the pasta and we're about to pour it in. Come get closer. So this is all, oops, this is all the pasta. So that's a full thing of pasta. 17 second walk. Yeah, that's all right. This is on the kitchen table. It's clean. It's okay. Okay, what do you got? And that's the part, the sauce, and I'm going to have it with some lettuce. So. Just as big as the big. So how many people is that for? Family? That's just me, baby. Just one skinny. Yeah. Skinny bum. <laughs> Hey folks, so although I don't have pasta every single night, corn pasta, it is an excellent weight loss food, it's an excellent carbohydrate, so it's a good backup plan. It's nowhere near as good as fruit. I'm not trying to tell you that it is, but it is a good backup plan. But I'm not talking about having, you know, if you're going to call it weight loss food, you cannot put oil and dairy and all sorts of fatty stuff all over your pasta, okay? So that's why I made a low sodium, low fat, tomato based sauce tonight for my pasta. So. Here we go. You're going to watch me eat the whole lot right now. So I've got my big bowl of pasta. I'm filming this with my Mac, so the quality might be a bit crap. And this is my sauce. So I'm going to put some of the sauce on the top. And I've got some lettuce leaves here.
then it's time to dig in. writing us and saying, why are you guys so transparent? <laughs> I was like, we want to be honest with people. We don't want to bullshit you. We don't want to bullshit you. We walk our talk. Count on it. That's what we always want to be known for. Being objective, honest, transparent. Teaching fundamentals. We're not like saying, eat this, and then we're like, eating that behind. <laughs> no way. What you eat in private shows in public. That's why I'm amazed that people have the What's the word? Oh, the gall, the nerve, the stupidity to pretend I've eaten 100% more food diet and I've put on all this weight. But freely and doing right, eating fucking vegan pizzas, vegan burritos, fucking just fucking binging on carbs all the time and they're fucking rail thin. But I'm eating 100% raw food diet and I'm getting, like, come on. <laughs> How can we be so fucking skinny and we don't even eat 100% raw? You know what I mean? We're just trying to teach fundamentals here so people can open their eyes and go, ah, we can see what's going on now. So whenever someone gets on stage or YouTube and says, I ain't understand what food died, I'm overweight. It's like, bullshit. Bullshit. Doesn't make them bad people for lying, but bullshit. Bullshit. Because you know what? If really myself still ate 100% more food, do you know how fucking lean we would be? How skinny we would be? I'm about 65, 66 kilos now. If I eat 100% more, no hundred, I would have no doubts about it. I would be 57 kilos, probably running 31, 32 for 10K. And I'd be smashing it. But I'd be so fucking skinny, so lean, people are going, you might be able to run fucking fast, mate, but fuck that. That's too skinny. So now, 65 kilos, I can still win running races, still dominating the bike. But I'm not racing, you know, at an international level. Well, that's not my goal. So it doesn't really matter too much about you know, the last few seconds at the top. But if Freely was doing it as well, she would be like 46, 47 kilos. Anorexic. We would both be anorexic BMI. I'd still be healthy as, very fast, but if people looked at us, to be like, I don't want to do that. People already say to us, Are you guys are too thin. You guys eat too much, but you're too thin. I don't want to look like that. But the cars make you fat, but you're too thin because I couldn't eat like that. <laughs> <laughs> It is. You got to have fun with it. You got to have fun with it. <laughs> yeah. That's, end of the day, life's about PMA, positive mental attitude. PMA yeah. out of my hand, positive mental attitude, regardless. You got to have fun. So many people have come in this lifestyle with MNA, MMA, negative mental attitude. Oh, my family seems so crazy. People make fun. It's just a choice in the moment between PMA and NMA. Have a fucking guess which one Freely and Duran Rider are sitting on all the time, trolling all the time. PM fucking A, man. Straight up. We ought to be transparent. We believe that fruit is the best food for humans. No doubt about it. Everyone's, myself, I've ridden across Australia, across the desert, middle of the heat. No sodium, nothing. Just fruit and fucking water across Australia. I've ridden Paris, Brest, Paris race in France. 1,243 Ks on 100% fruit and water. No caffeine. No caffeine, no stimulants. Fruit and and water, 1,243 kilometers in 51 hours, 30 minutes, with only 40 minutes of sleep. No stimulants. Can you imagine? Yeah, that's what I'm fucking talking about, fruit and water. Just to prove a point, 
There's plenty of people out there doing the simple sugar thing, the fruit thing, smashing it. That's all been done now. We all know that you can do this lifestyle long term if you want. And it makes you fucking lean. No doubt about it. If someone looks, if someone eats a fruitarian diet, they fucking look like it, man. Because they're all fucking sunken up and leaned out. They look like they're going to fucking bust out a fucking 210 marathon or something. That's what happens long term. There's no exceptions. There's no exceptions. Look at everyone. People always say, well, I don't look like such and such because it's too lean. But fruit makes you fat because it's full of fructose. So that turns the fucking liver acids by a, a, this a fucking obese mob at Lustig said that. <laughs> like, if you're going to take weight loss advice, take it from people who actually show you what the fuck they eat. They're not on drugs. And they show you what the fuck they eat. And, and you can do the math and add it up. And go, oh, that makes sense. That's, yeah, it makes sense. Versus people who are doing drugs. doesn't make them bad people are doing drugs. But there's so many people out there who are fucking doing drugs to get lean. Do a snapshot. Put that on the net. That's how I look all year long. Bullshit. That's just what you did when you fucking starved for six months on phenamine or whatever. And they got all leaned out and did some testosterone or whatever. And jacked out and some clean butyrol. does make people bad people. But that's a marketing strategy people use in the weight loss industry to sell product to you. Being freely, you can test our blood any day of the week. It's all clean. We don't even use caffeine. We don't even drink coffee or tea. We're 100% natty, full natty bra. Now, we've done a lot of drugs in the past, so we can speak from experience, but that was decades ago, over a decade ago. Drugs do work, but drugs will fuck up your metabolism for a long time. So what we've done, we've been so clean for so many years, we've done all that, we've paid all that stuff back. And now we're like smooth sailing. It's like we're retired in terms of being lean. So if you've abused your body, yes, you're going to have to pay it back. How long is it going to fucking take? That's the fucking six billion dollar question. No one can fucking answer that, but you and your experience will prove that over time. But people are like, I want results like feeling do not and I want them in 30 days. Go I'm fucking special. Shut your fucking ego up. Realistically, shut your fucking ego up. Be patient, consistent, and do what we do. Seriously, do you really think that you're so special? Everyone's special, but you know, you're not so special that you can get results in 30 days or a year or whatever. Just because you're like, oh, I deserve it now. Because you're some spoiled kid or whatever. Or, or you, you're like, you know what I mean? 